Welcome to Cardigan Bay Fishing Adventures. If you're new to the channel, I am David Barber. Today we're in Cardigan and we're heading out to do some wreck fishing. Hit a couple of wrecks probably, try and get a few nice pollock, and then we're gonna head off and we're gonna do some drifting for sharks in Cardigan Bay. It was known in the 80s for shark fishing, pub eagle, stuff like that. Around now it's not as good, but we're gonna find out today, see what happens. If you're not out there trying, you're definitely not catching them, are you? I'm out fishing today with Mark. Mark Roberts, you would have seen him on the channel before if you've watched it. We've not been fishing with him for probably two years, maybe-ish, something like that. So yeah, he's just getting the boat ready and we're down here in Cardigan on the pontoon. It's a beautiful morning, as you can see. Mark's over there behind me getting ready. So as soon as he gets here, we'll load up and we'll get out there and hit some wrecks. See you out there. Well, I've been picked up by Mark now. We're on our way out. It's absolutely stunning out here. Got the sun coming up just over here. Show you. Look at that. Got some geese behind us. Going out. But yeah, we're on our way out now. We may have a quick stop on a corner to try for some bass. Um, have a quick cast, see what happens. Head out to a wreck, hopefully get a few nice pollock. And then we'll be trying for sharks. So let's get out there. Well, we're just having a quick stop for some mackerel. We're hoping we can pull some up. The water is a little bit coloured here, so we'll see what happens now. But yeah, we do need a few fresh baits, really. So what I'm doing with this, I've gone down to the bottom. Feather, I don't know, 10 times up and down. And then I'll wind the handle two or three times and start coming back up towards the boat. Mackerel can be at any depth at all. So you need to try and find where they are. We've got quite a few birds about as well. There is something about. We was marking fish when we pulled up on the sonar. I think Mark might be in. How far down? It's very small, isn't they? Really small. <laughs> Bass. <laughs> Yeah, they are. Them literally mackerel that big. <laughs> That's a near foul. Look at that. <laughs> we try not to touch the mackerel too much if we can help it when they're going back, but that was on the deck, so. If we start getting into any, I'll get the camera back on for you. That's the size of the mackerel we're catching. We are bumping into them, but they're absolutely tiny, as you can see there. Not ideal, but we'll keep fishing and find some bigger ones for bait. What we've done, we've stopped drifting for the mackerel. We've added to an inshore wreck. Um, we're having a try for some bigger mackerel here, hopefully. We have to sit into a pollock. I'll show it you on camera in a sec. I'm gonna keep it for bait, potentially. Yeah, on this little 8 to 12 pound class rod, they hit pretty hard. The rod it is, is a Rovex Ceratec, 8 to 12 pound, 6 foot 6, with a Pen Fathom 15 LD. Nice little setup it is. Nice and light, and it's just, yeah, it's nice quality. This is going to be a Pollock. When they dive on this little light rod, you do know about it, even the smaller pollock. Good bait size. Yeah, they're not very big. Just little ones, but... Well, that would be more bait size, but yeah. Yeah, but good bait. And there's the one from earlier. It's a little bit bigger. Not massive. Hopefully later on, when we hit that wreck further out, there'll be some better sized pollock on there. I hit something there on the way up. Is that bigger mackerel? Ooh, we've got a dinner. <laughs> there we go, slightly bigger mackerel. Not big enough though. 
We've just gone back up for another drift, so. Get back down. We're open for bigger macro, that's what we're open for. We're not aiming for Pollock and stuff like that. So with this, I'm just lowering it quite quick, straight to the bottom. Because there is a lot of really small joey mackerel further up in the water. So yeah, we're feathering, which is not what you'd normally do on a wreck. But we're hoping to bump into some mackerel. But obviously, you are going to bump into the pollock as well. Even the small pollock hit flipping hard. But there's a chance we'll get pouting, poor cod, stuff like that on the little feathers. It's actually my first time filming with this camera and set up on a boat like this. So I'm not sure what the view's like and what the sound's like. As you can see on the hair, they are very small. Now try and get these off without touching them. They do say touching mackerel kills them. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. We have had them in the live bait tank and I've held them and put them in and they've survived. But with these, we're not keeping them. There's no need to touch them. Oh, that's Pollock. <laughs> it is fun on this rod, you know. It, I know, yeah, you won't be able to use this, I don't think. An 8 to 12 won't be enough out there. It's the first dive. Yeah, you've seen the bend in that rod, hopefully, on the camera. And this won't be a very big fish. It's good fun though. Oh, he's not a bad size one. Bigger than I thought. That's if he stays on lifting him in. Yeah, right there, look. Probably only a couple of pounds, if that. Yeah. Nice to see, especially with that sun on him as well. we've just stopped on the wreck now so this is literally the first drop i thought i'd get the camera on just in case we get slammed by something good straight away you can never tell it's around 250 foot deep so it takes a while to get down there i've just hit bottom now so as soon as you hit the bottom steady wind back up and what you're waiting for is a fish to slam it just like this no. So that was the first slam, but normally you get a slam and a big dive. But this is a 20 to 30 rod. You can see the bend in the rod. Hopefully. I've got a feeling it's probably a similar size to the one just bringing up earlier. It's not very big, but it is a little pollock there. But the side wide, the candy hanging out its mouth. Right there. Dropping down again. Have another drift, see what happens. Seems pretty poor at the moment, but it could be because of the speed of the tide. But we're out here trying, so... So just a steady wind up and drop it back down like this. 
You got a fish on? I haven't. Mark's got a fish on. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I can feel the lead more than the fish. <laughs> Good fight off this lead, but I bet it won't taste as nice. Go a little bit further up on that point, pal, in case there's fish off the back of it. Kicking and fighting now. Trying to dive. Yeah, it's thumping a lot now. Show it on the video. Again, smaller than what we'd like. Fish are always smaller than you want. Always. I could feel the weight more than the fish. Well, you, you won't get a nicer eating fish, you're beautiful, you know, but... So there we go, on a sidewinder again. As you can see, look, that's its swim bladder. The blow on the way up, because it's so deep. That's a normal thing that happens, but... Yeah. They are nice eating size fish, but obviously you always want big, big ones, don't you? But, we're catching what's there. That's just the way it works, so... I'll get that in the call box still. They'll still make a nice dinner for... A couple in the family. Mark's just pulled that one up now. It's not they're not massive, but them yeah. they're nice eating fish. You don't need a ten yeah, pounder to enjoy eating it. Yeah, I, small of these fish off and put a better to eat them then. It's a good excuse for catching small fish, isn't it? <laughs> you can't pick the size of fish, it is what it is. Well, we've started drifting now. We've got a couple of chum bags out. You may be able to see the slick just behind us there. I'm not sure if you see it on camera. We've got a bag out at the back and we've got one out at the side. We've got four rods out. We've got a set of different depths. I've got one out really far, 150 foot deep. We've got one just under the boat, around 25, 30 foot deep. And Mark's also got two rods out. One of my setups is a TLD 25 and a Suvaran 50 pound class rod. So we'll give that a go. The end tackle is all Alain Story specialist tackle. The rubbing leaders, wind on leaders, and the wire traces and everything. Really, really, really good quality. I've also got a rod down on the bottom. I've got a pound of lead on that and it's struggling to stay down. So, but we are, it's, now the depth is, we're over 300 foot deep here. So, trying to fish the bottom while you're drifting is not very easy. But yeah, if anything happens, I'll get the camera on. We're not confident, but we're trying. So that's what you need to do. If you're not trying, you're not catching them. So we're trying our best. Let's see what happens. Well, we had a really good go with it. We didn't have anything, didn't see nothing, no takes, no nothing. We did have a little pod of common dolphins messing around by the boat, and that is it. We've drifted two, three miles, maybe a little bit more, something like that. Um, the conditions now are absolutely spot on, as you can see. Perfect to motor back. We're probably about 35 miles-ish from port. It's gonna take a while to get back, but yeah. Tidied everything up now. We've tidied everything up now, so it's time to head back. Not the best video and not absolutely full of fish, but this is boat fishing, this is the way it goes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.